Burbank police have arrested a man suspected of peeping and prowling. Burbank police took 37-year-old Khalees Crowder of Glendale into custody for a... <laughs> Dog. Has this ever happened to you before, Brown Sugar? Oh, is Brown Sugar gone? She gone. Um, who is this? Is America? Who is that? This is America? Who is you? What's good? What's good? Can I be heard? Yeah, what's up, man? What's going on? What's good, I? What's good, panel? Yeah, who are you, man? What's up? Who are you? Oh shit, man! You know I've been in the, I've been in the, you know I be in the clouds. You know my brother put put me on you. You know what I'm saying, man. He hates your guts. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But I, yeah, but I fucks with you. You know, and uh, you know, man. I just thought I would offer a, a different perspective on. Go ahead, man. The floor is yours, man. Go ahead. So, you know, all the violence that goes on, you know, my from my point of view, it's really not as bad as y'all think it is. The reason why is there's way more fucking sons than y'all think there is. Well, way more than I've been a lot of places, man. There's a lot of niggas fucking everywhere. There's nowhere where only 50 million pop. So I think if you adjust to, adjust to our, our real pop, it won't really, you know what I mean? It'll be fucked up, right? All the shit that happens, but it won't be quite as bad. So tell me this. Where, where are you from? You? I'm Minnesota. Twin Cities. Okay, you're from Minnesota. And what do you think the sun population in Minnesota is? What do you think it is? I mean, uh, what? I mean, but you know, you know, Minnesota's not really a sun stronghold. But what you know, do you think the population of Minneapolis is? The sun population of Minneapolis. Sun population in Minneapolis? I say at least a uh, hundred thousand or so. No, like percentage. Oh, percentage. Uh. Well, they got they got us at like twenty percent, nineteen percent. You think that the sun population in uh, in, in Minneapolis is nineteen percent because that's what they say it is? Okay, that's no, what no, 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 is. no. I'm saying that's what they more. say it is. You think it's more? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, is, uh, and you're saying that isn't that is the reason. Why there's so much sun violence? Because there's actually more sun people than they say they are. Exactly. Yes, sir. So, but what if all the sun violence was all of the violence, especially the gun and the violent, the violent crimes were done by sun people? All of it. Would that matter if how many there were if they're doing all of it? No, no, no. I'm not saying it's not. I mean, I I'm with you. Like the shit's fucked up, but. You know, I think it's, I think it's, you know, what I mean, not as fucked up as we, you know, believe it to be. I think if we, if we knew it was a hundred million niggas and the way niggas was getting smoked, we'd be like, ah, you know, that's nigga, you know. Mm, so you're saying that there's more of us than 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 the census sh tells. I so, always believe that. So, huh? I always believe that there was always more than. Whatever the sun shit was. No, we've been 13% of the population since like 1920. Now, don't get me wrong, the, the population always increases. So that means our our numbers are increasing with that. But we always stay in 13%. It's never, it's like 13, 12, 13. It never, it's nothing different. Never. And that's well, with a thousand. Know. And hold on, hold on. That's with a thousand abortions a day. God damn. And that's with all the, the violence that you're showing constantly. These sisters are having a thousand abortions a day. Yes, sir. Wow, I didn't. I I never heard of it. I didn't know it was like that. Golly, that is fucking crazy. Shit. Um. Okay, so, all right. Well, but let's just say. That you're you're correct. There's more sun people than there than than 
the, the, the census says. What do you think about the fact that when you go to the gun memorial for any city, regardless of how many some people are there? Because you do agree that some cities don't have a lot of some people, right? You agree that, right? Say it one more time. You agree that there are some cities that actually don't have a lot of some people, have a small population. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. How come even when we go to those cities, the gun memorial looks like the goddamn start lineup for Alabama defense? <laughs> well, Why is that? My, my, uh, my contingency is not that we don't have a propensity for violence. I, that's not my... And actually, man, I don't even think that. See, I think I think that might be overblown too. Because, well, actually, you kind of do bring this up that we just uh, we handle business differently, and so right part with of each this other system, too, especially with each other, especially. Say it again. With each other, especially like when it's when it's us with other people, we handle business. But when it's us against each other, we handle business harshly, swiftly. But once again. And you, I've heard you kind of go to this, you know what I'm saying? We understand what we're dealing with. So it's like, man, I got to kind of bite down on this nigga or he's going to bite down on me. Yeah, facts, facts, facts. So, uh, but as far as the propensity of a I didn't look, man, like you, and you kind of, man, I, I'm kind of feel like I'm repeating every, all the shit you already be saying, you know what I mean? gliders for whatever reason they want this uh i mean it's stupid to house niggas in prison for years and years and years and you know what i'm saying feed them and shit and just from the get out and do the same you know what I'm if you touch a kid you should be done for you know what i mean it, it it shouldn't be no second chances so i think that might be an error that's an error in this system i mean i wouldn't necessarily call it their system because you know what i mean um I mean, I have a different view on history, but you know what I mean? Um, I think it's all of our system, but. Um, okay, now now I will give you that. The amendments and everything that came after, but the original document, the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, that was all gliders, right? As far as, um, I mean. Um, the founding fathers, the, the dudes that made the Constitution, ratified it, it made the Bill of Rights and basically the foundation of which this country stands on. Those were all glider men, males that 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 that, that set that in, in motion, right? Uh yeah, that's what history says. And but I, I know there is uh Abraham Lincoln might have been Indian. I heard a half Indian or something like that. I heard that, but you know what I mean. But what, yeah, does that do? what, yeah. what does that do? What does that do for you? Uh, do you think that some people have some kind of relation to, to Indians? Uh, definitely. What if I told you that some people couldn't even really get a blood transfusion from an Indian because our blood types are so um, dissimilar? I would tell you there's a, a, a variety of different types of Indians. No, just the Indians that are the Indians. The one, not not this indigenous shit, the actual people. When we were, Remember when we were kids before this pro-black shit started? Remember oh no! I, okay, I would say no. We're not Indians them. No, no, no. I would say I would say we're not them. We're not them. So I would yeah, say, you, no. That does. Okay. I would say we're not them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, I, let me. I gotta move on, but I want to know what you think about this guy. Like, um, tell me what you think about this brother right here. Um, let me let me let me play the video. Burbank police have arrested a man suspected of peeping and prowling. Burbank police took 37-year-old Khalees Crowder of Glendale into custody for allegedly stalking women in a bookstore. A social media personality caught this incident. Look at how weird this shit is. Like, don't this make us all look bad, though? Yeah, that nigga's a creep, man. But this ain't even creepy, though. This is bold. Like, creep is like if he was being creepy about it. He was creeping. This nigga ain't creeping. Look. Yeah, like, yeah, there was no, there was no way he wasn't gonna get caught. <laughs> Look, are you seeing it? Look at the view you got of it. How is this? How's he creeping? These nah, niggas yeah. are out of control, man. 
Yeah. yeah. On camera, she shared it on TikTok, and it shows the man getting close to a woman. I will while say this, though. This woman has no fucking um, awareness, no social awareness. What do they call it? Um, no goddamn fucking environmental awareness, whatever the fuck. She is, she is no, like, yo. None at all. Damn, she has no fucking, fucking awareness, man. This nigga is literally like, and you know he breathing heavy, he a mouth breather. She just in the fucking zone, man. This is this is out of control, man. Personality caught this incident on camera. She shared it on TikTok, and it shows the man getting close to a woman while crouching on the ground. The video went viral, and other women have now come forward saying they too experienced similar incidents with the same man. Crowder is also accused of peeping. Yo, let me tell you something, man. A sister would have turned around and been like, what the fuck? Like these these fucking <laughs> glider women, man. Y'all live y'all have such a sense of security because y'all not around sons. Like look at her. She has no clue that nigga just looked up her dress. I don't know, man. You're supposed Keeping to at least feel, you're supposed to feel that, you know exactly. what I mean? On your, no matter what 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 you is. You know what I mean? But glider men have made it to where they are safe like that. White women are so safe, man, in this country, especially if they grow up in non-sun neighborhoods. Nothing, I mean, they'll have, yeah, a serial killer will pop up sometime around, you know, somewhere in Gladder America, some every once in a while, but there's never any shootings outside of the home. There's never any, like, shootings, like, it, somebody may kill their family, whole family, in the house. But there's never any shootings like outside. Um, if anybody ever acts up, another glider man can call them out in public and dress them down, read them there, the riot act, and the dude won't shoot them. They live in a very safe environment. And prowling at a Glendale home where children were present. Oh, she finally turned around at the end. Shit. Um, So you got the fact that it ain't no sons out there. So it's it's not a lot of crime, but all the crime is sons. Police in Glendale are searching for 30 suspects who burglarized a high-end store at the Americana at Brand. The thieves made off with $300,000 worth of merchandise. KTLA Zelina. <laughs> Abovian is live in Glendale. With All right, the let me say this. Who do you think is this is? Who do you think doing this? Since we haven't gotten that far in the video. Who do you think this is? Huh? In this in this video right here. Who you think is doing? Who are these thirty guys that stole three hundred thousand dollars worth of shit from this mall? What? What, what state they in? What city? This is L.A. suburbs. Van, I think it's um the suburbs of L.A. Oh, this might be the Britos. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Merchandise. KTLA's Alina Abovian is live in Glendale with the details. Good morning, Alina. Smash. Hi there. That's right. At least 30 suspects made their way into the YSL store at the Americana on, at Brand here in Glendale. Now, we were able to confirm these numbers with the Glendale Police Department saying that they did take a lot of merchandise. And this happened yesterday around 5 o'clock in the evening, and it was caught on video. Take a look. Oh 
Yeah, a big shock to witnesses who were around to see it all go down. This brazen robbery happening here at the Americana. Many people taking out their phones and capturing this video, which has now gone so viral. And again, we have confirmed $300,000 worth of merchandise. YSL is considered a high-end fashion brand with some handbags ranging from $5,000 to $10,000. Now, back say they are investigating. They do have some leads. There was a short pursuit following this robbery, so we will be staying on top of this. But that's... Salute to Paula Sanders. She said, how when y'all killing each other? One, one another like 90 going north, man. Um, yeah, um, America, um, America Black, I can't see the whole name, but salute to you, man. Um, thanks for coming up, man. Um, salute to everybody out there in YouTube Landia and in Rumble Landia. Oh. Out of here.